Next stop, Florence. Directly east of Moscow. It's fine, don't worry about it. Alright, getting started with some slices right away. Uh, complicated slices. Oh boy. Okay, uh... Yeah, I remember this t taking a while. That looks like it might be a head? Uh... Hmm... This might be slightly problematic. But only slightly. Really. Interesting. Hmm. I am confounded. Maybe... Where does anything attach on this dang thing? I was about to say, this has got to be a torso, right? And so that... Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Looks like most of these pieces are like... Various limbs. Okay. And this is a head? Maybe, but... Okay, it is a head, but I don't... Something's weird here. Okay, so that's a face, and this is a second head. Which is a funny sentence. happening here. I'm not quite sure. Let's just uh, try every angle. One of these has got to connect, right? Surely. I feel like this is I feel like this is upside down and I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, I was gonna say one of my friends recently got back from a trip to Italy, and they they were there for a couple of weeks. And it sounded like it was a good time, and I'm happy for them. I've, I've mentioned this before uh, during this playthrough, but I would love to visit other countries one day. Not really in the cards right now, but hopefully at some point in the future. She said, uh, frantically rotating limbs in an effort to attach them. We are making progress on the leggies. It is hard to tell what is right side up and what is upside down with these. See, cause like that didn't look like it was right when I was trying, whoops, when I was trying that random angle. Kinda getting flashbacks to the Eris apple puzzle, damn it. I keep putting things behind other things. I am not a member of the Ministry of Putting Things Behind Other Things. I need to... I, uh, I turned in my card to that particular organization years ago. I left it behind. They still call me sometimes, like, Hey, come on, you were so good, please come back! And I'm like, no, I got other things to do. Like, record myself making silly references to other, <laughs> to other media. Where does any of this attach? Oh! Gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting that to go right away. I'll take it though. This is the second video I'm recording today. I'm... I usually only do one. I've mentioned this before. I usually only do one video recording per day just to give my... Just so I don't wear out my voice and all, but I need to build my backlog back up. I have uh, went too long without recording, and so I need I need to make sure I have enough to where I can get videos out on time. Where do you go? I'm confused. You go there. That's a little gruesome. Okay, <laughs> not not the most expected place for an arm to go, but we'll take it. Come 
come on, quit being stubborn. Just attach. Just attach! Of course it was the last possible angle. Perseus holding the head of Medusa. Artist unknown. What a jaunty little tune for such a gruesome statue. And of course the very last piece I attached was the dangling neck. Ugh. Buddy, you gotta put some pants on. If you're gonna go kill somebody, you should at least not be naked. Seems a little disrespectful. But what do I know? I'm just a bird. A bird who just got a hint token. Oh, I like this one a lot, actually. We'll, uh... We'll get to it. To, the, to why, once, once it's all put together. Of course, the trick is putting it together. Because things are exceedingly vague here. That, that's correct. I'm going to leave that there. Hmm, I'm not quite sure where this one goes yet. Find out in due time, but there we go. But not at this hmm, present moment, I guess. Is that right? I don't think it... I don't really... Hmm. I don't think it is, but I'm not sure where else to put it is the problem. That goes there, though. I think we can all agree on that. Yes, I'm aware I'm falling Zion again. I'm in the zone. I'm in the puzzle zone. Get in the zone! Puzzle zone! I... T I wish the AutoZone jingle wasn't engraved into my soul, but it is. And we're just all gonna have to live with that. Oh, fancy. Ah, I am so close! <laughs> There we go. Self-Portrait of Leonardo da Vinci by who else but the man himself. I really like the texture of it. If, if you, it, it seems like, it seems very tactile, you know? Okay. Uh, so this one's not moving, but also... I was looking over my, my notes of my practice playthrough, and this one took me a while, so we might be trapped here for a little bit. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I might have to use a hint token here or there. Looks like we got some some angels making funky little, little shapes. Hmm. Yeah, I can see why I had trouble. I'm not quite sure where to start. Here, maybe? Well, that's not right. Much as I might want it to be. Hmm. If you use a hint token on find and fills, it'll reveal an outline for you to work from, which is nice. do that. Hmm. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be s sitting here staring, not knowing what to do. It's really hard to avoid dead air in situations like that. <laughs> Had to had to cough and take a drink. I'll try not to pause too often over the course of this playthrough, because I know that's just silence that you'll have to skip over a bit. 
And that's the end of that sentence. All right. Cool, thanks. Hopefully, I won't feel the need to use more than one hint token, but we will see. What? What am I filling in there? Am I missing something? Apparently I am. Ah, there we go. I was filling in too much. I think I see another shape. Let me... That's a gap between shapes, not the shape itself. That can trip you up sometimes with these. That was a shape I was trying to get earlier. It wouldn't do. All right. Italian depiction of the Greek mythology of Galatea by Raphael. That one hint token saved me several minutes <laughs> from my uh, practice playthrough time. Hey, nice. That's going to come in handy. Oh god, it might come in handy right now. Uh... Hold on. Those two are, if not in the right position, they're at least... They were at least set up in such a way at the start that I could... easily get them out to the edges. Speaking of which, let's... Let's try and get all the edge pieces out. Uh, standard rules apply here. If I don't solve this in five minutes, I'll just use one of the, the hint tokens I just got and so we can carry on with our lives. <laughs> Alright. This one probably needs to go like somewhere over here-ish, if I had to guess. Okay. These are the two remaining outside pieces, and I just need to get them over here. I have other things to talk about. I have, I've, during last recording, I forgot to mention other other games that I have been playing. Well, other game singular that I've been playing lately. Oh, I got the outer layer without using a hint token. Nice. That's a rare W for me. <laughs> I'll take it. Of course, the problem is going to be solving the rest of it, but, you know. Baby steps, one thing at a time. No this one is in its right place, but nothing else is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I need to get this one on the outside, and I'm just going to do this. Almost got this. Yes! Madonna del Magnificat by Botticelli. This baby has seen some things. <laughs> like, <laughs> this baby has gone to war. Look at that face. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's mean. Under five minutes. That's an ominous amount of time to have for one of these. Oh god, okay. This is a lot of detail to work with. I remember not being able to solve this in time. So, uh... We'll see how things shake out. <coughs> and then once I... Excuse me. And then once I... Finish this... Love that my voice just cracked. I'm 32, can you tell? <laughs> 
as I was saying, nice, once I finish this one way or the other, then I will talk about other things, but right now we gotta focus. Gotta focus up on this. Hmm. You would think this would go somewhere around here, but apparently not. That goes there, though. Hey, nice. I wasn't entirely off base, just wasn't close enough to where it was. All right. Starting with this shape is probably a good place to, well, start. <laughs> I'm very good with words, except when I'm not, which is, you know, frequently. There we go. Okay. I think I just heard my roommate's cat meow from outside my room. Uh, fortunately for her, I am busy right now and cannot give her attention. <laughs> That's so sad, I know. Francisco, having the faintest clue. Nice. This is part of the landscape here, okay. That's the bottom edge, which means this is probably also the bottom edge. It is. I think I'm doing this at a pretty okay pace, actually. Surprising myself. Maybe I'm actually better at this video game than than I had previously thought. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Remains to be seen. She's going the distance. She's built for speed. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like... I'm not a fan of the band Cake, and it is entirely the vocalist's delivery style. He just sounds like he doesn't want to be there. I don't know. It's like, I really, I really don't like their cover of I Will Survive, because they just... It's just, uh, uh, Like, buddy... If you're a singer, could you, like, sing, please? Is that too much to ask? Apparently. But enough about my half-formed thoughts on a band I haven't listened to in over a decade. I have other things to worry about. Yes! I did it! The Universe and Man. Artist Unknown. This is a really cool piece of art. I would hang this up on my wall. If I had any room. Hell yeah. I outdid myself. Alright, time for more slices. I was gonna say, yeah, I think that's upside down. <laughs> On the one hand, I'm wondering why they put one... Excuse me. On the one hand, I'm wondering why they put a puzzle that's so easy this far into the game, but on the other hand, I don't mind terribly much, because the resulting piece of art is very cute. She says, suddenly having trouble for some reason? There we go. It's obviously the tail. And this is the little pauses. It's doing the is he, you know, gesture, which is very funny. A griffin! Artist unknown. Look at him. Isn't he cute? I'd hang out with him. <laughs> I'm very normal about birds and mythological bird-related creatures. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Maybe 
maybe these pieces won't be so difficult, but there are a lot of them. Let's look for this one first, which is right here. Alright, let's do this one next. I don't know why I drug, drug out that syllable for that long. Sometimes I just do things. That's fine. Uh, let me take a drink for a second. Okay, well, I think I know where this one goes, but again, I'm trying to find this one. Maybe it's up in the trees somewhere, question mark? Hmm. But uh, as for other games I've been playing, I recently played through slash read a, uh, a text adventure game slash piece of interactive fiction called the Ghosts of Blackwood Manor. It was written by one Stefan Vogt. I don't know if I pronounced his last name correctly. It's spelled V-O-G-T. Uh, he's made a few like old school style like graphic adventure games, but I think Ghosts of Blackwood Manor is the first one he's done that's like purely text parser based. And I don't have a whole lot of experience with that genre, but it just looked neat, so. I decided to give it a try, and I'm glad I did. It was, uh, short and sweet. Finished it in a few days. I liked it. Not enough to, like, record it for the channel, but I'm glad I played it. I don't regret my time with it. Where on earth is this thing? I don't know. It, uh... Playing that kind of got me thinking, maybe, maybe I should record a text adventure and put it on the channel at some point. But I'm also not sure how I would handle that, because, like, like, by definition, it's just text and, you know, putting commands into a parser. There's, like, no pictures or background music. Seriously, dude. Doesn't it like BGM? So it would just be me reading out loud in dead silence. And, like, I don't know. On the one hand, I feel like I should should like put in some background music like maybe some royalty free stuff that I might find somewhere but on the, but on the other hand I don't want to like dictate people's moods or how they should feel about a given scene or puzzle or whatever I don't know I guess if I ever do end up recording hold on hold on hold I found it all right thank goodness and I think dog. Alright, now, what is this? Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I, I guess if I ever do decide to record a piece of, record a text adventure for the channel, I'll, I don't know, I'll make a community post about it, I guess. But yeah, uh, Ghost of Blackwood Manor was good. There were a few parts where I was like, it felt like I was hard stuck. I wasn't hard stuck. I was just like, I was missing the exact correct verbiage that the game was looking for, or I had forgotten some command that I was able to do. Oh, nice. Uh, let's do this tree next. There were a few points like that, and there's there's a bit near the end that's like a timed sequence. You only have a few turns to do, to do a given action, and took a little bit to, to figure out uh, what I was supposed to do there, but thankfully the game comes with, uh, like, a... I forget what it was called, but you can just, like, open the entire game as a text file to look up how to get to the good ending. The History of Nastagion Degli Onesti II. Artist Unknown. But yeah, I had to do that a few times to look to look at hints and things. But overall it was enjoyable. Oh boy. I'm gonna leave that in the middle, I think, actually. <laughs> I say that and then I immediately <laughs> pivoted away to something else. This looks 
This kind of looks correct, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that there. Let's see. Where do we go from here is the question. Isn't that always the question? You go use the bathroom, come back to your room. Where do we go from here? What am I talking about? That's not quite right. I think this does belong in this general area, but beyond that, I'm not certain. That does not go there, though. Maybe... Oh, nope. I was off base. It goes here. I think following these cloud outlines, these vague ones anyway, I think that's my best course of action here. These are some really fluffy clouds, I gotta say. Oops. Whoever was, whoever painted this, which we'll find out in due time, whoever made this was cooking. Hopefully not with gas. Anyway. Yeah, that's alright. I'm turning the I'm not I'm I'm not just keeping the, the grid off so I can more easily uh find the different pieces. Excuse me for a second. Had to take another drink, put another cough drop in my mouth. Everything's good. We are all Gucci. Not quite. Also not quite. That that piece is already fine. Not, I did not second guess myself. Which is easier said than done sometimes, but that's neither here nor there. go. Let's see. Hmm. Kind of getting down to the nitty gritty here. Hitting the gritty, if you will. I apologize for saying that. That was pretty bad. Take a shot every time something cadenza says. Jesus, I didn't even. I did not get that sentence out correctly. Take a shot every time cadenza says something really dumb. You might end up with liver poisoning. And nobody wants that, at least of all me. Oh my god, where do these pieces go? Nope, didn't mean to do that. I don't want to use a hint token, but... Hmm... I thought... I thought incorrectly. I thought... No, I'll, I'll hold off for now. I am getting closer. This piece specifically has been vexing me this entire time. Not into that. Quite frankly. Ooh, nice. Hmm. Riveting commentary, I know. I'm almost there, though. I just need to get a little... Looks a little bit off here, but it's more correct there. There we go. 
go. I thought I was missing something. You go there. That's a lot more obvious in hindsight. Okay. Thank goodness. Fall of the Giants fresco by Fulio Romano. That's absurd. In a good way, of course. Hmm. No lens menders today. Fair enough. Oh, boy. Uh... Alright, standard... Standard five-minute rotoscope time limit applies here. If I don't get it by then, I'll just free puzzle token move on. Let's try and get all these pieces out first, I think, is the first order of business. That was an incredible sentence. I worked so hard on it. Uh, in the moment. Where is the last... Let's see, where does this go? First off. Okay, it goes there. Okay. Hmm, so which one of these pieces would be the last one? Not that one. It's too low res to go on the outside. Which is a funny way of navigating a puzzle. But... These are no longer the cutting-edge graphics they were in 1999. <laughs> were they cutting-edge back then? I don't know. I feel like people would say would have said they were pretty good. Maybe I'm too far removed from the context of when this game was uh, new. That might be the case. Okay. I'm awesome, actually. I got the outer layer. Again. Am I actually getting better at these, or, do I, or, or am I merely getting extremely lucky? It is difficult to tell. <laughs> I think that one goes there, though. And these two pieces are lined up, even though they're not in the right place. Well, they were. Where did these go? There. Okay. And that goes there. And... Damn it. I know where these two pieces go, but there's... <laughs> the way I have it lined up here is... It's not... Not ideal. Ah. Ah! I got it again! Okay. How am I doing this? I'm... <laughs> I'm amazing, actually. Incredible. Wonderful. Awesome. Spectacular. Let's go! Earth revolving around sun and zodiac. Artist unknown. Solved in less than three minutes without any hint tokens. Booyah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the popping off. Let me have this, please. <laughs> I'm, we all know I'm not good at rotoscopes. Just let me have this one. It's fine. Okay. Seems like we have another actually d somewhat difficult slices puzzle on our hands. Potentially. This looks like a... Yeah, this is a torso. And these are... These are leggies. Look at that strut. Look at this, look at this sassy little way this person is carrying themselves. I like it, I dig it. I bet this person will be fun at parties. I hope I don't regret saying that, once we find out who this actually is. Put on the shoulders and the neck. This looks like part of a face, but I'm having trouble determining where that actually begins. There we go. And the 
this goes like that. Perfect. And this is... Uh, it looks like a foot, but these are the feet, so I'm not sure what to do with that information. Alright, time to trial and error some more leg bits. It's everyone's favorite part of these videos, is me trial and erroring leg bits. It's certainly mine. That wasn't even a leg bit, that was an arm bit. I'm in shambles, my reputation is ruined. How will I ever recover from this? Well, unrelated to anything that's happening right now, but I am feeling uh, pretty hungry right now. I haven't eaten in a few hours. I had some, some bagels. They were good but not quite filling enough to last me this long. Okay, somehow that worked. One of these, possibly this one, is the missing arm bit here. Yeah, I need to make some dinner after I finish this recording. I'm gonna make something with Probably gonna make something rice related, if I had to guess. Just knowing my general eating habits and what I've had the past few days. I haven't had rice in a little bit. I don't have just rice by itself. I'll like I'll make other things with rice, like some vegetables and something and like something that else to put in the rice. And what what do you go to? Are you connected to this? Is that what's happening? That is what's happening. You go here. Nice. The David at the Galleria dell'Academia. Or Academia? One of those. By Michelangelo. David and his sassy little legs. All right, moving on. Oh! The geese kept dancing, and Coyote kept stuffing them into his sack. Then one goose, who was a little less foolish than the rest, opened one eye and saw what Coyote was doing. Fly, he hopped. Fly! Coyote has tricked us. The geese flew away, and Coyote flung the sack over his back and went back to his burrow. He had all the goose he could eat for dinner, and a really good laugh. Find Coyote. All right. Next time, Santa Fe, after I eat some food. <laughs>